All right, so in this problem we have um, a sample of 167 children and 37 suffer from asthma. And the claim is that the percentage of people, that, the children that suffer from asthma is 11%. All right, so we're going to compare against 11%. So we go over to test. And we're going to an option 5, one proportion Z test. So the claimed proportion is 11. We're going to test against that. So we have it 37 out of 167 have asthma from our sample <clears throat> and it says test the claim that the proportion um, is 11 percent so we want to test that it is equals the opposite of that is not equal so we do uh, not equals we're going to try to prove that it's not <clears throat> so we leave it at not equal and do calculate and so when we get this um, <clears throat> notice what happens here uh, you always just have to be mindful here that um, this is written in scientific notations. So this p-value is actually uh, 0 0.0000041. So it's really, really small. So the p-value is less than the significance level, so we would say there is sufficient. Right? So these two say there is sufficient evidence. And the claim is that the proportion of all children in the town who suffer from is 11%. This we have suspicion of it's to warrant rejection of that claim, right? Because um, we show that the proportion is actually around 22 percent. What this is showing. So in other words, there is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection, not to support the claim. We're not going to support that it's 11 percent. We're actually trying to show that it's otherwise because our data shows that it is different. 